Welcome back to GRC. Pretty excited today. Very quick video about something different. So, so far, I've only shown my one at one tenth scale off road vehicles, uh, which is which is great. But I uh, recently, there's a couple of people who saw my videos and reached out to me. They live near me on the Central Coast. Central Coast, for those who don't know, is about an hour and 10 minutes north of Sydney. Uh, there's no RC tracks on the Central Coast, unfortunately, something we're going to try to fix in time. But uh, the two closest tracks, the one in Sydney that I race at at Ride or Hills, which are about an hour, hour and 10 away, or one at Maitland, which is an hour or 10 north. So anyway, these guys get together. There's about half a dozen guys who get together and race every weekend. There are F1 RC cars uh, and local car parks. They have they put rope out and make tracks. And Anyway, they reached out to me and I thought it was sounded pretty cool. I've never done on-road at all before. So did a quick search, Facebook Marketplace, and found a vehicle. And it uh, actually turned up. Um, so here it is. It's uh, a Roche uh, F1 Evo. Um, so... Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it was a roller. It did have an ESC on it. So I've got a motor coming from Camel Town Hobbies that's coming this week. Um, hopefully tomorrow, I think it's scheduled to come. A 21.5 brushless. Uh, and now with the receivers, so I've actually got a um, M17 controller. Uh, there it is there. So um, I love that controller. But the receivers are really expensive and I've got four of them already. So I've got one on my B74, one on my B6.1 for my one tenth scale, and I've got one in each of my one eighth, uh, so my D8 e buggy and my D817 Nitro. I've all got the actual official Samar receivers. Now in Australia, I, I was picking them up for a hundred and something dollars each, so they're quite expensive. But anyway, I found these ones. These are like on Banggood or something. Uh, they're just a Chinese brand Daz Micro. I mean, they're a cheaper version of the receiver. They said they were compatible, so I bought I bought three of them, and I put one in. And it actually, um, it actually works. So I was pretty happy with that. I have to go FH3. I can't do FH5 mode on, on my controller. But I mean, this is just for me at the moment for bashing around. And I might head out to Castle Hill uh, on road to race them. There's a couple of guys talking about it on the Facebook group now. So that's pretty cool. So never raced on road before. Never owned an on road car. So apparently F1 is quite technical or not easy to drive. So could be interesting but i'm super keen i love f1 like the real f1 into it so i love it so being able to um i don't know, have an f1 car now the body is on its way um so i'll show that next day or two and the motor should be here tomorrow and then we're pretty much ready to go so i'm gonna you know see some footage on my channel of a bit of on road i'm gonna try to make it down to castle hill on road like i said as part of this channel i really want to get out to as many tracks as i can and spread the word so if on road you'll go, I'm a complete novice. I mean, obviously I know a lot about RC, but not really on road, but this car looks super cool. When I got it out, I was instantly like, wow, looks pretty cool. It's got a single uh, shock in the middle to get a bit of suspension, but it's the ride height is so low, ridiculous. So yeah, I'll give it a go in my garage, which is really flat tomorrow, but I've hooked it up. I've, I've, I've set the endpoints on my steering, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, once I get the motor, tomorrow I'll hook it up, give a bit of a spin, and, and I'll share it with you. So, yeah, a bit more about my gear as well. So I've got an M17 controller. Like I said, I kind of just bought the best of what I could buy at the time when I kicked off a year or so ago. But, yeah, so that receiver seems to work. I'll, I'll give you a report how it goes. I'm going to race with this. I, I have a transponder for it. So I will head down to Castle on road for sure on a Friday night and give it a go. Otherwise, I'll be mucking around with the, with the boys on the Central Coast in a car park. So I'll get some footage of that as well. So that could be fun. Anyway, cool. Thought I'd share that with you. Like I said, very quick one. Um, the builds of... I'm getting some parts coming from Campbelltown Hobbies um, tomorrow. That should be, be able to finish the build of my cars for the weekend. It's been forecast to rain all week, including the weekend. So I was pretty thought it was going to be definitely cancelled. But... Hasn't rained much the last two days, so I don't know. He's hoping we'll still race. Um, if it does clear up or it's or it's on, I'm going to try to head down on the Friday to get some practice in because I've switched my, my, my B6.1 back to a... Um, switched it back to a uh, laid back. Um, and like I said, I went with the, the kit um, build. So I'll give that a go and then do some practice laps and then hopefully we can race this weekend. I'm really pumped. I hope we can. So yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days with the final preps for my 
off-road one-tenth for the king of the hills. But in the meantime, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this guy. If the motor comes tomorrow, give it a bit of a burl and, uh, yeah, let you know how it goes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you like normal, please like uh, the, the video if you do like it and subscribe if you want to hear more. I'm putting out pretty regular videos at the moment. I'm trying to do two or three a week, see how it goes. Pretty easy to get some quick ones out. So, yeah, if you enjoy what you're seeing, please give it a like and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Thank you.